Um, I wanted to start off my speech by asking the audience a few questions. So um, first, how many of you guys have ever broken a bone? Just raise your hands. Okay. And how many of these bones were broken due to a sports-related injury? Yeah, so as you guys see, it's very common when you break a bone, it's because of sports. So I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, the injuries that I received um, playing football in high school. So I started playing football in seventh grade. Um, I started off uh, summer training and everything, and I went into my eighth grade year, a few minor injuries, broken bones, nothing serious. And then my freshman year of high school is when I started JV, which is when everything really started to spiral out for me. I, um, I remember one day I was, I was in practice and I was just running normally. We had to do a few laps before practice. I was running my laps and my back started to hurt, my lower back. Like really severe, sharp, like pain I had never experienced in my life before. So I was like, I kind of just brushed it off. I was like, oh, I guess I just, I don't know, I guess maybe yesterday I hit someone and, and it caused my back to hurt a little bit. I brushed it off. After about an hour of practice, my, the pain really started to intensify. So I went to talk to the trainer. Uh, long story short, I talked to a trainer, and after he didn't know what to do, he sent me to a back specialist, where I then got an MRI and found out that I had two fractures on my L5 vertebrae, which is like the lowest vertebrae before your um, before your tailbone. So what this is called, so what this injury that I have is called, it's called spondylolysis, and the exact definition of spondylolysis is a specific defect in the connection between vertebrae, which are the bones that make up the spinal column. So basically what happened to me is that the defects that I had in my, in my vertebrae, the defects that I had in my vertebrae caused the, um, caused the fractures that I received in my, in my L5. So this injury is very common. This injury is very common among um, adolescents, usually under the age of 26. Usually people under the age of 26. Um, it's the most common uh, form of back pain, of lower back pain. Uh, usually it's in the L5 vertebrae, which is what happened to me, and sometimes, rarely, it could be in the L4. I think, Jared, you said you had that, right? In the L4? Yeah, so rarely it can happen in the, in the L4 as well. Uh, the pain is described as a really sharp, uh, it feels like a muscle strain, but it's like a sharp muscle strain, um, and it's usually intensified with exercise. Um, this this uh, injury affects about 3 to 7% of all Americans, usually under the age of 26. And it's very common from sports such as gymnastics and football, sports that put a lot of stress on your body and um, cause you to hyperextend your back backwards. So when I got the injury, um, I, was in the, I was in a back brace for nine months. Usually uh, when you get the injury, you're in the, a back brace for around three to four or five months, um, but the injury was actually pretty severe for me, so I was in a back brace for nine months. Um, after, uh, once I got my back brace, I had to, I couldn't carry a book bag, I couldn't carry any weights, I had to get a roll <coughs> bag. Um, couldn't, I couldn't carry my books or anything. Um, and then I had to go to physical therapy. Once I started physical therapy, um, I had to go two or three times a week for, I think it was three months that I went. So, to start, when I started the physical therapy, they would start with an electrical stim, which they would put on, on my lower back to relax the muscles. Then they would do like a deep muscle massage, which is not as good as everyone thinks it is. It was like terribly painful. And then they would stretch me for 30 minutes. After stretching, I would have to do exercise for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, strengthening my core, um, strengthening my core and my lower back muscles. Also, when I got home, I would have to do aquatic exercises. I would have to go in my pool and do exercises, do sit different, different exercises and stretch every day. So after my ninth grade year, after I received this injury, I was ready to start playing again. I got back to I got back to the football field, practice for summer, um, got back, and a few weeks into the season, I broke my clavicle. I broke my left clavicle uh, for the first time in the clavicle because of the location of the clavicle. It's there's only a very thin layer of skin on top of the bone, which makes it very easy uh, for it to crack, for it to fracture. It, clavicle injuries actually amount to five percent of all injuries, like all general injuries. And 85% of these happen from falling directly on your shoulder, which is what happened to me. And the other 15 happen from falling onto an outstretched hand and the, the force on the outstretched hand goes up and breaks your bone. So how could you, um, so then also, and then I got, I got back 11th grade, I got injured, I broke my clavicle again. 
But yeah. So how can you prevent some of these injuries? Um, the spondylolisthesis, you can prevent. Um, you can't prevent it, but you, what you can do is that you can strengthen your back and your and your core muscles. And if your back hurts, seek medical attention as fast as possible. Thank you.